Is the death penalty constitutional in, in America? Yes. It can clear the Eighth Amendment uh, prohibition against cruel and unusual uh, uh, punishment, depending on how it's applied. So why is there so much trouble with how it's applied? This Thursday, an Alabama death row inmate named Kenneth Eugene Smith, okay, he survived an execution by lethal injection about a year ago. Now they're going to use a new method that's never been tested in the United States. Nitrogen. How does it work? Why is it okay? Let's bring in Michael Copeland. He was part of a study that recommended this method in Oklahoma. Uh, he's an attorney, he's a professor, so good guest. Mike, thank you. Hi, it's a pleasure. Thank you. Um, so what do we know about nitrogen, how it works, and why it's better? Okay, so the air you breathe is approximately 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and 1% other. And nitrogen is inert gas, and it has no effect on you. You can breathe it all day long. It's not dangerous to anyone. The lethality of uh, nitrogen hypoxia comes from the absence of oxygen. Essentially, what you're doing is you're taking regular air and you're removing the oxygen from it, and people will uh, eventually pa pass out and then die from the lack of oxygen. Now, most people, when they hear this, they think that it's similar to suffocating, and that mm -hmm. is untrue. Your intuition will tell you it's true because you believe that everybody's held their breath and you get that sense of anxiety that builds up as you hold in your breath. But it's not like that. It turns out that that is not caused by the lack of oxygen. The anxiety you feel when you're being strangled or holding your breath comes from the buildup of carbon dioxide in your blood, which changes the pH balance in your butt, blood. So if you're allowed to breathe out your carbon dioxide while you don't take in any oxygen, most people won't notice it at all. And the few that do notice it, it will just be like a slight intoxicating effect. And, and uh, we know this we, how? Because we've been doing this for decades, primarily through pilots. Uh, anybody that has uh, done high altitude training with pilots, um, or not, not all pilots do this, but a large number of them do, throughout the United States, throughout the, the world, try to test uh, what it's like to exist in low atmosphere environments for when you're like in an airplane, if you have a, a breach right. in the atmosphere. So if you were on an airplane- I get it, you might I get it. Okay. I get that, but we haven't tried it in this context of w how it would kill somebody. I well, guess, so also, this is gonna be the first the first time we've seen it, no? Not for, not, it, it would be the first time for an execution, but we've done it right. all the way through passing out and coming back. We've also done it all the way through suicides. In Scandinavia, the, uh, there's a group called Dignitas, and it's for places where you don't have physician-assisted suicide. And so right. they're just trying to help people. So euthanasia. And yeah, and their preferred method, the type that they advocate as the most humane, is they put a, basically a turkey bag over the head and fill it with inert gas. And they've watched it, and they've done studies on it. Mm -hmm. Now, at any time, these people who are committing suicide could just pull the bag off their head if they wanted to, but they don't. Right. Because it's a testament to... It's uh, human, the humanity of the process. So let me ask you something, the cruel and inhuman part. Why do we make killing somebody so complicated? How did we get here? There are very simple, direct, and immediate ways to kill somebody. Why do we go through this exhaustive process? Uh, that is a great question. And sometimes I think uh, the, people, the people that want to commit, uh, that want to see this process enacted, don't want to see it as a brutal act. So they try to find a way to make it appear as, um, I guess, humane as possible. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.